Brats, we've got another really random unboxing today for you. If you can, if you have an eye for it, if you can tell looking around, we're actually in a different studio space right now, but we need more lighting for it. So what we've got here from the Slow Dolphin store on Amazon, these are some of their fancy light bulbs. They should look kind of something like this. This is what we're gonna hopefully be replacing. So these came with those soft box lights a few months ago that we upgraded to, you might've seen on Instagram or any of that. We're gonna be upgrading to these 45 watt, 110 volt, 5500K, I don't know what half that means, but these are supposedly great light bulbs. They're full spectrum LED lights. We're gonna have less heat for when it's hot in here in the summer. I'm sweating during the unboxings. We're gonna have more light so you can actually see the sweat glistening on me. It's gonna be really pretty. And hopefully at this price point, they're gonna be just as good as what we had, which were these top lighting. These are what came with the, with the soft boxes. So we're talking $32 for four light bulbs. So eight bucks a piece, not bad in the world of these lights. Let's open it up and see what they're like. Quick reminder, always have a small, sharp unboxing knife for cutting open your boxes. You don't wanna hurt yourself or anyone else. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Make sure and edit that out. All right. So these come just like the other bulbs, very well protected, well packaged. Actually, the same length, they got a fat butt though, right here, this thing is fat. No sort of branding from this Slow Dolphin, so I'm guessing this might be like a drop ship thing where they sell bulbs that are just, just generic bulbs that come from uh, made in China, as the box says. These should be full spectrum, these should be really pretty. Right now you're seeing, you're seeing what you're seeing is four bulbs of the top light. So this lighting that you're seeing right now is four of those working, and then two old crappy brown colored bulbs up in the ceiling that are in there. So we're gonna replace these all with these real quick and then you're gonna see a comparison of the lighting right now. So much brighter, so much brighter. So the soft boxes we have here hold up to four bulbs. They each only had two working. So what we did was we put one in each. So now they have three out of the four. And honestly, I don't think we're gonna go four at this point because I think at that point we'd just be blowing it out. And then we also replaced the two in the top of the room with two of these bulbs. These are the same spectrum. We're looking at virtually the same temperature as the bulbs we had before, but just a lot more light. Our amazing cameraman, John, had to adjust the ISO, which I don't even know what that means, but he had to adjust it way down. So this was what it would look like before with the original ISO, and this is what it looks like corrected now for this lighting. And not just that, like the room, the whole room in general, I can actually see. This is really nice. I feel like the backdrop looks totally different now because it's not like just black behind me. It actually looks like it's blue. Weird thing, if you do get these bulbs, something I didn't expect to happen when you first plug them in, only the very bottom of the filament is gonna light up and you're gonna see it very slowly go up the end. I'm talking like it takes a couple minutes, slowly. It's so very slowly, it goes up the entire thing and lights up the whole bulb. So first thing when I put them in, I was like, oh crap, are these broken? I don't really know anything about light bulbs. I don't know what else to say. In another video that's coming up, I actually, since these are now gonna be the studio lights for this new space that we're doing the unboxings in, hardware builds, different things are gonna happen in this room. I actually have some new lighting. So watch for that in the next video. That's gonna be for the green screen itself. We're gonna be using that in the other studio. And then we'll be comparing those to these. Although I don't think those lights are gonna be quite as impressive as these, but we only need those for green screen lighting. So they shouldn't really take much. So what do you use for lighting? Do you prefer just using little ring lights around the room? Do you just, are you that close to the camera? You don't need anything big like this. This is my first experience with soft boxes, but they do look really good. I really like how these are working here. And now that we have a pro cameraman actually knows what he's doing with it. He's making us look good in the lighting too. So I really appreciate that. I wanna say thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in another reality. I wanna say the biggest thank you to those of you who have become channel members and any of you who have ever been patrons of ours. Gallium VR, Chris Deputy, Legacy VR, Bagel and Afissi King Sloth, our current channel members. Our patrons, K27, Rocket Sauce 28, K Panda K, Fred Nepotebo, Ege Karatosh, Maddie's, Gallium VR, Orange VR, and Mr. Dodojo. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting the channel.